The Swinkles family have been producing this Dutch Pilsner for over 300 years. But is the UK version as good as the Dutch counterpart? It's Bera Kolok from the Netherlands. We have Bavaria Pilsner coming in at 5% ABV. But do we? Because from the UK, we have Bavaria Pilsner coming in at 4.3% ABV. Now, what's the difference? Well, we're gonna find out. Now, Bavaria Pilsner, okay. It's, it's produced by the Swinkles family of brewers. And believe it or not, the, the brewery first started in 1680, right? But officially, um, the founding year was 1719. Now, believe it or not, right, the Swinkles family have just been passing this down generation to generation to generation to generation. Mm -hmm. They are now on um, their seventh generation of Swinkles, which happened in 2007, believe it or not. So we're on the seventh generation of the family. Um, they produce this, this Bavaria Pilsner and this video is really about, I'm sick to death of, right, and I'm gonna be honest here, right, I am sick to death of, in England, us being mugged off, right? To me, if Bavaria Pils is 5% in the Netherlands, why can't we have the 5% same beer sold in the UK? Now, I know for a fact, a can of this, um, oh, Stefan Bream sent me this over, um, the German subscriber, he, 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 he doesn't live far from the Dutch um, border, so he can pick this up. I know for a fact that in a supermarket, Bavaria Pils is well under a euro to buy. He probably paid about 69 cents for that, probably that can, right? In the UK, this bottle, um, this is this is this is a half litre bottle was in Morrison's at a pound. Right, and the can here is five it's half a litre as well. So they're both the same size. That's the price difference. You know, it's it's a cheap beer, it's a cheap beer, right? So you know, over 40 cents, we're not really gonna it is a rough sort of same price difference there really uh, depending on the euro how it goes right so we can't discount that we're getting ripped off for it in the UK as opposed to the Netherlands right now also in the Netherlands this is not a beer which um, I guess there's a lot of people drink it it's a beer that you'll find in a lot of restaurants a lot of restaurants will have Bavaria pills on tap as their sort of their house beer um, in a lot of the, the, the brown bars, they might have it on tap. Um, and if they do, you tend to find it's, a, it's uh, a lot of the sort of the older boys will drink it because it's cheap, you know. So it's at, at the end of the sort of Dutch, the scale of Dutch beer, this is like at the bottom end of the Dutch beer scale, okay. This is the same like to the like Gulpinger pills and stuff like that you know it's relatively cheap you could probably in a lot of places buy buy a glass of this on draft in most bars at about two between two and three euros you know it's relatively cheap so that's what we got to think of here this is this is a relatively cheap um, Pilsner in the Dutch range of beers you know this is cheaper than your Hertog Yang Pilsner it's say an equivalent really to sort of Gulpinger Right, so that's what we need to look at here. But obviously the major factor is the proper stuff's 5%. The stuff we're getting mugged off with in the UK is 4.3%. So is there a massive difference? And we're here to find out. So without further ado, let's crack open the Dutch one and get it into, get it into a glass. Mm. 
There we go. Right, let's open the English version and get that into a glass. I've noticed, notice how the, the cap looks a bit, a bit like the old Portsmouth badge. <laughs> Portsmouth FC badge, doesn't it? Um, right, first impressions. Let's take the Dutch one. It's clear, it's golden, there's plenty of carbonation. It's got a lovely three finger white tight foam head. Let's look at the English one. It's golden, it's plenty of carbonation, and we've got a two finger white foam head. All right, so it's not really no difference whatsoever there between the two. Okay, let's get the aromas. So let's get, this is the Dutch one. It smells of bread, wheat, Ready, it's wheaty, it's corny, okay. There is some hoppiness there, but it's it's not a lot. Right, let's get the English one. Oh my god, this is more all I'm smelling is corn syrup. Wheat and corn syrup, it's got none of them bready notes. I'm getting no hops out of this whatsoever. And it smells really, really sweet. This smells like it has more body to it. The Dutch one smells like it has more body to it to the English one. So definitely a difference in the aromas. Um, I can tell straight away that this one here is a higher ABV beer. Or even on a blind test I could tell you that, that this is a higher ABV beer to that one just on the smell. Um, and yeah, there's a massive, massive difference on the aroma. So let's dive in and give it a try. Let's, let's dive into the Dutch one. It's crisp, it's dry. It's got that sort of black pepper back end, it's grassy. There's some malts coming through. Yeah, it's, it's got some bitterness to it as well. It's not shabby, um, it's, it's a half decent Pilsner, you know, it's, it's no world beater, um, it hasn't got the flavours like you get if you have a Jupiter, which I suppose you've got as a sort of put this in the same sort of ballpark as sort of a Jupiler. There's obviously Jupiler is uh, what the Belgians consider to be a cheap Pilsner that they, you know, 
um, last resort and, and all that, you know. But I like I like Jupiter. Um, this is never no hurt to Yan, and it's not marketed as it, it, like that, you know. It, even price wise, the difference in price between hurt to Yan and a Bavaria to buy in a supermarket or to buy in a bar is a massive price difference. But it ain't too shabby. This is better than any most of the crap we get on tap in the UK, i.e. your, your Fosters and your Carlin and stuff like that. You know, I wouldn't mind this on tap down my local. Um, I'd rather drink this than San Miguel, to be honest. It's, it's, it's a decent beer. Um, as, as UK standards, you know, compared to what the dross lagers that they serve up, a lot of them in the UK pubs, that's a decent beer. So let's get on to the UK version of Bavaria. Totally different taste. I might just ch like chug two or three mouthfuls here. It's sweeter. Definitely sweeter than the Dutch version. It's not too shabby either, believe it or not. Um, I'm actually quite surprised. It's got them same grassy notes. It hasn't got as much as a dry back end as as this one. It feels the body of it feels thinner as well. Let me just Yeah, this is the Dutch one is definitely got more body to it than the English one. And that's obviously because of the ABV. I'm just looking at the, the head on it. You know, they've both they've both held their heads really well. Um they've still got the you know, these are non-nucleated glasses, believe it or not, right? So they're still they're holding their heads really well. There's plenty of carbonation still. Um This is an interesting comparison, believe it or not because very easy. let's get some more in the glass let's, let's fill these glasses right up let's get these beers in these glasses So there we go.
Yeah. The, the, the English one, it definitely smells more, more corn syrupy than the Dutch version. I'm not getting the breadiness of the malts in the English version. But I am in the Dutch version. The trouble is what we've got here now. We've got a bit of a situation with these two beers, right? <laughs> and the situation is thus. Right. There are gonna be um, lager, pilsner drinkers, right? Who are gonna prefer this one, the English one, to the Dutch one. They are gonna prefer the English one to the Dutch one. And the reason why, because the English one is sweeter okay there are going to be, be people like myself who are and it's nothing to do with with it being dutch or anything like that who are going to prefer the dutch one to the english one because this it's got more body to it um and it's it's drier at the back end, it's not as sweet. So, by lowering the ABV in this one, they've probably, because both of these got a hop extract in, believe it or not, they've possibly put more hop extract into this one to make it, it's, Whatever they've done, they've lowered the ABV, made this one sweeter. And this one is more bitter, more drier. That's the difference in the two. So the choice is um, down to yourselves. Do you prefer a sweeter Pilsner? If you do, the English one every day of the week. If you prefer a more bitter, um, drier Pilsner with a bit of body, and it's got to be the Dutch one every day of the week. So that's, <laughs> I can't really say, um, my pr well, my preference is the Dutch one is better. But that's my preference. There might be people who, are going to prefer the English one. Um, this is a t it's a tough call. This one. You know, I started off this this video is are we being mugged off? Um. Yes, we are. If you like a traditionally um, bitter pilsner with a big dry back end, then that doesn't fall into the category. But if you like your your lager pilsner to be sweet, then this is going to fall into your category, and this isn't. So it's it's a hard one. Um, I think the only way people can can distinguish between the two here is try them. Um, I cannot. I cannot say one's better than the other, and the reason being is because um, they're cheap beer. It's cheap beer. They're they're on a budget to produce this beer. So you know, if they're knocking this out, I don't know, sixty nine cents a can. Right, there ain't a lot of room there to, to for the ingredients and. And, and the brewing time and everything like that, is it? It's, you know, um, they can't afford to put the ingredients and the love and the care into that beer. The same as this, even a pound a bottle, 
they can't afford to put the love and the care and the ingredients into brewing it. So you've got to take that into account with these beers. These are the, the, the lower end of the scale. Um, I can't split them. I can only split them on my own personal pre preference. And my own personal preference is the Dutch version all day long. But if I was to rock up around someone's house and all they had in the fridge was the English version of Bavaria, um, I wouldn't I would knock it off and think, oh, I'm going to have a bad night here, are we? You know what I mean? Um, I'd, Right, I'm going to sum it up, right? When you get down your supermarket, for people that do this sort of thing, right? If you're down your Morrisons or down your Tesco's, right? And you see the packs of Carlin and the packs of Foster's, walk past them, walk past them. Go and get yourself the equivalent amount of bottles of the Bavaria. Because Bavaria is a sort of beer Foster's and Carling drinkers, the English version, are going to like. It's sweet, it's going to hit all the spots for you, and it's a better quality beer than your, your Foster's and your Carling. Um, people like myself, we're only going to have it if it's the last thing there, to be honest. And we'd choose a Dutch version over it any day. So that's how I can only sum up the two Bavarias, I'm afraid to say. So, look, do your own experiment if you want. Um, go and get a bottle of Bavaria down at Morrison's or Tesco's or see if you can get hold of a Dutch can or bottle. Try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Hit that little bell, get, oh, give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, I get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly.